If you went to bed early last night, it is a pity that you missed out on this hot news. Miami Dolphins' quarterback Tua Tungavailoa has responded to the rumors about possibly being part of a trade for disgruntled Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I, I would say that's something that I, I can't control. Um, I don't have any control over, um, you know, those trade deals and whatnot. Um, you know, but for me, my job is to, you know, help our team win games and, you know, help our offense contribute to the success of the team. It's clear. He shouldn't know these BS rumors. But what is behind these words of Tua Tungavailoa? Let's deep dive in Tua's speech with an ESPN report. Don't forget to subscribe for the last news. Tua Tungavailoa believes he can be the Miami Dolphins franchise quarterback but knows he has to prove it with better play in year two. Tungavailoa is coming off a rookie season where he went 6-3 with a 64.1% completion rate, 14 total touchdowns and 5 interceptions. But the former Alabama star was replaced twice in the fourth quarter by veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick and struggled at times to throw the ball effectively downfield. With the Dolphins in the thick of offseason quarterback speculation for the second consecutive year, Tungavailoa was asked whether he is convinced that Miami is all in on him as the franchise quarterback. In my mind and in my heart, I would hope so, Tungavailoa said Monday during an interview with Sirius Mad Dog Radio. With the way things went last year, you always have to prove yourself to do better, and I want to do better. Dolphins coach Brian Flores told ESPN last month that he's excited about the future with Tungavailoa and the Dolphins believe in him. Dolphins general manager Chris Greer also said last month that Tungavailoa is their starting quarterback and they are happy with his development. This offseason will prove if the Dolphins' strong public commitment to Tungavailoa matches their actions, with multiple options potentially available, including unhappy Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson. ESPN's Adam Schefter recently reported that Watson has requested a trade, while ESPN's Chris Mortensen reported that Watson has Miami high on his preferred trade destination list. The Dolphins are one of the few teams with the draft capital to potentially entice a Watson trade. Tungavailoa told Sirius Mad Dog Radio that he hadn't heard the Watson trade rumors until his agent told him about them, but that's something that would be out of my control regardless. That would be a decision of the Dolphins organization, he said. I have to control what I can control, work hard and do well next season. Tungavailoa was also honest in his evaluation of his 2020 season, saying he would describe my rookie season as below average. This past season wasn't up to the expectation that I have for myself. If the Dolphins do move forward with Tungavailoa, as is their current plan, the focus would be on his year two improvement. He told the Dan Patrick show that there's a big difference in his health this offseason compared to last year when he was coming off serious hip surgery and he can focus this year on improving mental elements of his game. The Dolphins already have made it a focus to build around Tungavailoa early in the 2021 offseason, including hiring his former Elite 11 high school camp coach Charlie Fry as the their quarterback's coach. They also spent significant year bowl getting to know Alabama star receiver Devona Smith and running back Najee Harris, both are fits for the Dolphins' offensive needs, have a great relationship with Tungavailoa and could be options for Miami to select with each of their first-round draft picks, knows, 3 and 18. When asked by Sirius Mad Dog Radio about reuniting with Smith, Tungavailoa admitted the two already have talked about rekindling their Crimson Tide magic a couple of times this offseason. He noted it would be very special and very exciting, citing their chemistry.